When the still sea conspires in armor and her sullen and aborted currents breed tiny monsters. The creatures that are down there that are, are like science fiction creatures, they range in the way that they would gobble you up from uh, slime type blobs, uh, but creepier than, than classic science fiction blobs. These would have long tendrils that would ensnare you, and as you tried to get away from them, you just become more and more ensnared by your own actions. And then after you would be frustrated and exhausted, then this creature would start to move in and take you apart. So that's one example of one of the creatures. Then there are other types of worm type things with horrible mandibles, and jaws, and just bits to rend your flesh. Uh, it's, it really is a, a violent, horribly violent world that uh, is obscure to us because we're encased in, in neoprene and, you know, and we're much larger than, than that world. So it doesn't really affect us. But if you were to shrink down, miniaturize into, into that world, it would be a horrible place to be, just horrible. And this is a world earlier than human beings. Do you think that the human race and other mammals uh, fled in panic from the oceans and crawled on solid land to get out of this? Yeah, I think undoubtedly that's exactly the driving force that, that caused us to leave the horrors behind, to grow and evolve into larger creatures to escape what's, what's horribly violent at the miniature scale, miniaturized scale. Yeah, I think undoubtedly that's exactly the